Hi everyone, good afternoon. I'm Jorge Orozco. Today I'm going to give you an overview of what is nanotechnology, which I think it's a gate to the future. Why? Because I believe that nanotechnology's benefits and improvements are not fantasy. They are in development and they are already changing our lives. Okay? So for this, I'll start explaining what is nanotechnology, then I'll explain the difference that it has with nanoscience, therefore I can tell you the fields in which the nanotechnology develops and how, is, how can it be useful for us. Finally, I'll, I'll give you a brief summary and my conclusion. To begin, this quote, nanotechnology in medicine is going to have a major impact on the survival of the human race by Bernard Marcus. He is the CEO of Home Depot. He's a billionaire businessman and an investor, so he knows what he's talking about, okay? Moving to the next slide, what is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a manipulation of matter on an atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale. As you can see in this picture, there's a hook trying to grab a molecule. So, these kind of things is what nanotechnology intends to do. Moving to the next slide, we have the difference with, the na with nanoscience. Na what is nanoscience? Nanoscience studies the fundamental properties of matter, the variation of size and dimension of particles. So, nanoscience studies, studies what happens with matter at this tiny scale, okay? Because physics behaves a lot different in nanoscale than in a normal scale. Why? Because how small is nano? Well, trying to find a nanoparticle is like trying to find a soccer ball in the surface of the, of the Earth. So that's really hard, but not impossible. This concept, I took them from Carleton College in the University of Montana in the, from the US. Fields of applications. Uh, there's the field of energy to make new fuels, electronics, biomedicines, uh, buildings, pharmacy, environment, chemistry, telecommunication, and transport. I took these fields from the Universidad de Zaragoza in Spain because they have some research of nanotechnology and they give us this map in which the main fields are medicine, environment, energy, and electronics. Electronics, we, uh, we people, everybody, use computers or electronic devices. Energy, ev everyone needs energy in every society. Environment, we live in the same planet, we need a, a clean environment. Medicine and health, well, everyone, everybody wants to be healthy, right? So, some sub-applications are textiles, construction, transport, and space, chemistry, and biotech. So, it's very wide, it's application, it fields. How is it useful for us? Well, I have some examples. In computers, if computers have nanotechnology, they will be smaller, so they will be more uh, more fast, uh, more powerful, and capable of store, uh, storage more memory. Okay. Uh, medical diagnostic equipment. Uh, this example uh, refers to make better diagnosis and be more precise with the equipment. Uh, cancer treatment. Uh, there are two research, one in the US which wants to use nanomolecules to locate uh, cancer cells that are causing damage in the body and so uh, with some nanosensors they want to locate these tumors or these cancer cells and in South Korea they are trying to develop some nanobots to introduce them in the body and eradicate the tumor. Another example are nanoparticles in pharmaceutical products. Uh, they want to use nanoparticles to enhance drug effects and, the, and make them distributed 
distrib to distribute better in the body. They are also useful for like corals to corrosion resistance and fuel efficiency. Another example are nanofibers. These nanofibers are waterproof or oil proof and it is useful for the industry if you are making some process uh, in, in where, where you don't want to mix oil with water or other substance these nanofibers are helpful uh, are helpful for for those processes another example are water filters there are already some research on of nanotechnology water this is a book so we have water more clean carbon tubes carbon tubes are, have many applications uh, the most common one I remember is for export exporting clothes in which uh, the nanoparticles make the clothes or They make them lighter and waterproof. Okay. And the last example are sunscreens that we already use, like this one that we have uh, nano zinc oxide to protect our skin from the sun. So these examples are the ones that we normal people can use. Uh, and that's why it's very important to consider nanotechnology because it's very useful for us, okay? Moving to the next slide. Uh, finally, I have the summary of this presentation. Number one, nanotechnology is the manipulation of matter in nanoscale. Okay, that's what I want, to, uh, what I want you to remember. And nanoscience studies the properties of matter in nanoscale. Remember that a nanoparticle is so tiny that can fit uh, the radius of a human hair. And number three, number three, nanotechnology enhances or adapts matter to a specific purpose. Remember its applications, there are a lot, so it's very helpful for, for us. In conclusion, I wrote a quote for you. Nanotechnology is a reason of today for living a better tomorrow by myself. <laughs> uh, why is this? Why I think uh, nanotechnology is a reality in development. I will show, I will show you the, the examples. They are in development. Some of them are already in the stores and the impact in our society of nanotechnology is heading to the future okay it's going to make us make us a futuristic society and it's improving the way we live with its benefits why is this because it's going to help you help us to make life a little bit easier so to end i, I want to end with this caption because remember that all technology at any scale is just a tool you choose if you use it for good or for bad so you are free to choose what so you are free to choose but you are not free from the consequence of your choice so i think that's it thank you very much if you have any questions you can send me an email and we'll be in touch thank you